Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I am here today to do a quick unboxing of a pair of shoes, but also to show you, and that will probably take the majority of the time, the updates of the current shoes that I have in my collection from Sarah Flint. I also did attend one of their in-person trunk shows, and I must say I was very excited to attend. This is the first time I've ever attended an in-person event for Sarah Flint and I got to try on a lot of the shoes, touch it, feel it, see it. It's totally different than seeing it on the website. So I do hope they do more of these in-person events in the Bay Area soon. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also love travel, fashion, luxury. So if you like any or all those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. I am a longtime fan of Sarah Flint ever since I was introduced to the brand. And for full disclosure, I am a brand ambassador, but I do buy a lot of their shoes with my own money. And I am just in love with all of them. Every time they do a new release, which they have a really good collection for the holidays. Some of them are out already, so I'll pop them onto the screen, but I'll also show you some of the shoes that I saw live at the trunk show, which includes some of these more holiday, fall, winter collections. The first one I wanted to show you here. It's actually something that I've gotten, um, I don't even know, maybe like a month ago already. I was debating if I should show it because they are definitely not available anymore, but sometimes I do see them pop back up randomly. So I just wanted to show you because I think this is a really, really excellent pair for the coming season. So um, like with all Sarah Flint shoes, it comes in this beautiful blue box. And uh, there was also a receipt here in their beautiful floral print. And since this is an older style and model, they do have the older uh, gray packaging. Um, this tells you who packaged it, which is really neat. And, and it also tells you um, it was handcrafted by this person. Um, so let me just get into it. It does come with two dust bags, one for each shoe. Right, so here we are. I love that the dust bags do come with each shoe because it does protect it when you're traveling or when you're not using it. All right, get ready to see this pair of shoes. This is a pair of booties and it is a very... I don't even know what you call it. It's not very much like the booties that I wear. It's not like a dressy booty. It's definitely more like utilitarian and um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's combat because it doesn't have that grunge it's like a little dressier version of it let me grab the other pair out and i can bring it closer to show you all right so here we are can you just see how beautiful the leather looks it also smells wonderful it's so soft so supple and the bottom is very sturdy these are rubber bottoms and it also has like these etched in marks to prevent slipping and this is a beautiful piece of leather and yeah this has the gold grommets uh and then also the i sorry i don't know the actual term for them but they're like little um eyelets that hook across so that you can lace up your boots and on the inside oh my gosh there are these a uh, fluffy lining. I am not sure of the exact material, but it looks like it'll keep you very, very warm. And the back looks very plain like so. So this pair of booties is a collaboration of Sarah Flint and the Gravati Brothers. It was made by Gravati, so you'll see a lot of their older shoe collaborations um, does say Sarah Flint um, X Gravati, and it's because they were made by this company in Italy. It's three generations Gravati, the two brothers um, are retired, so any shoe that you see from Gravati are now the end of an era. Um, these are beautiful. I am so glad I got my hands on these. I believe these ones, like I said, are sold out, but they do have a pair of similar booties from Gravati um, that I'll link below if you're interested. They are beautiful. It has a slightly higher heel, but it is beautiful. So if you are interested in handmade three generation of skills in making shoes uh, from Gravati, definitely grab those. I will also insert my code for $50 off here, as well as a link. The link will link you straight to the Sarah Flint website, as well as 
automatically apply $50 to your first purchase at checkout. So I hope you guys will take advantage of that. And so yeah, I'm really happy. These are still, I think, a little bit too warm to wear in California right now, but I am getting ready uh, for the winter time. I do just wanna give a quick update on some of the other pairs of Sarah Flint shoes. I know a lot of you are wondering whether they hold their shape their colors um, and what's the wear and tear like. So I have a few pairs that I own here, some of which were gifted to me, but a lot of them I've also purchased on my own. And so here, let me just show you. This is the newest pair. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten too much wear out of these. These are the dress booties, which are available in their winter collection. Um, it is beautiful. I actually did see it at the trunk show. So I'm glad I already got my pair ready to go for you know holiday events. Uh, but it's again not cold enough I think right now for me to just wear it all the time. Right here are my oldest pair of Sarah Flint's. They are my first pair. These are the Natalie flats. I have it in the uh, sort of saddle color um, leather. These are Vachetta so they did take a little bit longer for me to break in but once I broke them in oh my gosh are they comfortable. These ones I took it in a size 36 and a half or US women size six and a half. I am usually a size six or six and a half. These ones I took in a six and a half just for reference. They do have a beautiful little pointed toe and for the wear and tear I do see some. It's because it's Vachetta so you can and see some watermarks along the side, but I don't think that detracts from the beauty of this pair of shoes. I definitely think it looks a little bit darker brown now than when I first got it. So it did, it looks like it did patina a little bit. So yep, it is now extremely comfortable and I do wear them a lot to work, to events, to like drinks, errands, everything. Over here I have my second oldest pair. I knew I wanted a pair of heels and these ones are beautiful. They're so unique. They're 85 um, mm tall, so they are a little bit taller than most of my heels. They have this beautiful cap toe front with a mesh sort of material here with polka dots. So it does give you a little sexy reveal of your feet, but not too much. And the rest of this is like a smooth um, suede leather and it is beautiful. These are not the most comfortable pair of my Sarah Flint's. I, in fact, I think these are the least comfortable pair of Sarah Flint's that I own, but they are the sexiest ones. And I sometimes do go for it just uh, because how beautiful it looks in photos. If you don't follow me on my Instagram already at Clutch to Carry All, definitely do so. I have posted photos of me wearing this pair and the other Natalie flats on there are already, so you'll be seeing those live. Um, they probably help with, you know, how to style them. Um, if you have any questions, do leave in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as well. Another pair of flats that I have are these slingbacks. These are the Natalie slingbacks. So it's similar to the Natalie flats, except on the back, they do have a little adjustable sling. These are so comfortable. I think these are more comfortable than the Natalie flats. Um, so I have, these are newer, but I have used them a lot and I brought them on vacation. They're great for around the house. You know, if you just want to step out into your backyard or something, these are great. Um, I got these in the sort of metallic Safiano leathers and they feel just fine. I did have to size up half a size. So these are in 37s instead of the usual 36 and a halfs that I would get from Sarah Flint, but they are very comfortable they're extra padded around the edges all over here on the inside and so they're extra comfortable and they're adjustable as well so if you're not sure of your size this is a good one to go for or if your feet expands a lot during the day this is a great pair to go for the final pair that I have here to show you are these these are the Saketo flats I love these ones um, these are fairly new they're not my newest but they are probably the most comfortable pair that I own from Sarah Flynn. And the reason's because it's this Napa leather, so it's super soft. It is very like bendy and it um, doesn't have any hard uh, bottom that I could feel. So with the Natalie flats, it's very um, rigid. These are so soft. They're, they're, they bend with all of the materials. And I think that is the specialty of these. They actually, um, the insole and the outsole are stitched together, so they move a lot more freely and comfortable. And so the one that I did get are these rose gold with the pearl buttons and the cap toe. I love these. Uh, there are no heels on these. Uh, you can see that they are 
gold leather lined as well. These again, like I said, are my most comfortable. I can walk around the city all day, no pains. I can run in them. They are dressy that you can dress them up, you can dress them down. They are beautiful. They also come in many different colors, uh, including some evergreen colors, um, I think some leopard ones, but they are perfect for the fall and winter time if you want a comfortable pair of flats that are dressy. And I have seen not really much wear, I think maybe a little scuff, I can bring it in again. I see a little scuff right there, but um, otherwise pretty, pretty pristine. The leather, you know, you see some folding where you might crease and walk, but that is perfectly normal and it doesn't take away from the beauty of the shoe. I do have one more pair of Sarah Flint's and those are the Mirjana sandals, which I have been, uh, I don't have it here with me. I think I have it packed uh, to go on a trip already. So they are on the way. They're great for pool, just walking around. When I go on vacation, I love bringing those because they're they're so compact. I can bring them anywhere. I also love using them around like the hotel room. I can slip them on, walk down, and like not have to fuss too much about shoes. So yeah, I have been loving all of my shoes. I think if I have to choose for you right now, the most comfortable are definitely the Saccato flats the most versatile i would say are the natalie flats and i would say the most i guess unique ones and sexiest ones are these parker heels which they do come in a flat version so if you're interested definitely take a look at those as well and the ones i'm most excited about trying are the boots because i have not worn their boots yet and so the dress perfect dress booties right here in this like suede color would be perfect and matching anything from leggings to jeans to skirts and dresses. But I can also see myself, you know, needing something a little bit more accessible to like walking and everything. Um, and these are gonna be perfect for the winter time. So again, I'm so glad I got a pair of Gravati's. Um, I think there is another pair called Elle out there, Ellie out there. So um, I will, pop them onto the screen or link them below, or list them below. All right, so the last portion of this video is just to show you clips of me at the trunk show. I love all of these. There's one pair that I especially love, so I'm probably gonna get that. Uh, another pair that I am eyeing as well, so I'm probably also gonna get that one. I will be doing unboxings of those shoes very soon if I can get my hands on them. Um, but if you're interested in what I ended up picking up from uh, the trunk show, then definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. I hope you enjoy some of the clips. Uh, don't forget to use the $50 off code that I will link below. It's a link and a code, so either one, it'll save you $50. I would love to know if you got any of your own and what you think of them. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the clip and I'll see you guys in my next one.